Now, the great motif, first of all, in Islam, no one is greater than Allah. Great, grand, well, he, grand motif. The word grand and great were European terms, like the, like Alexander the Great. So this was also a term that was given to him by Britain. And when they utilized him in World War II to do an onslaught of Muslims, they used his family background, which even goes into Osama bin Laden in Afghanistan. And they used these royalty people and people of high stature and made promises. If we help issue these weapons to you to protect your country this that and third we need you to do us a favor and then we'll even help you rebuild well they never helped them rebuild but those treaties still exist to this day where they still uphold very high communication with those within the regions of what used to be the USSR and also those regions within the Middle East and it also within Korea or so we still hold these communications with these people and the reason why they're upset is America always falls short on their promises and they see that America is now trying to be that one world leader some are agreeing, but a lot are disagreeing because they believe within their practice that their Zion is within their region. And they know if that America comes to be in that new dynasty, that all prophecies are to come to near. So, about in the 50s, because just like Hitler uh, um, proclaimed a law to eliminate the presidency, something similar like that was being done within Iraq. Saddam Hussein had, who w whose family is also affiliated, took his throne. And when he stood up, stepped up, those in Iraq that truly knew him said, basically, the they rather have the tyrant and the so-called devil that used to run their land over the one that is now. Because as Farrakhan, when he spoke to him, said, Farrakhan explained and said this man was like a lion with no claws. Basically, a very powerful man. But without the ability and capability of performing things that they so-called believe that he was actually doing. Now, every nation has sacrificed their own people. So, or had the capital punishment. We do capital punishment over here. And we could, um, we could let our so-called ethics and law can, can actually be the basis on why we do what we do over here. But I'm not even going to even get into my opinion about certain laws and things right now. So Saddam noticed something in the land. Now, back then, almost every region had an Illuminati base where they were able to bring their own members and recruit more members into their families because they will seek out people they did this with my father they came to uh, my father and told him you are of a bloodline that's very special and you have the ability to see and to prove yourself to see if you want to further yourself and they brought him to very known people I mean he's been able to travel all over and uh, was used when he worked at Boeing and stuff 
Um, but he, um, when he was introduced to the um, Illuminati, the Masonry, because he's a part of the Masonry. Uh, he, had, he, I believe, he's like fourth or third degree, but he started noticing that their beliefs was similar to those practices of ancient times, but they're actually in a way that was against his native beliefs and the complete balance within this world. So he rebelled. Now, when you have that type of establishment in a country that is heavily, because Saddam was definitely a real Muslim man, a true Muslim man. He followed his beliefs to AT and ran his country on the laws of his beliefs. So if you call that tyrancy, it was he was using the laws that his beliefs in the type of Islam that he followed to produce a nation that was pleasing to the God he worshipped. He found out that there were Illuminati lodges inside this land and that enraged him. And when you enrage someone like that, that has such power and strength to utilize for their beliefs, he said, plain and simple, if you practice this crap, you get offed at the head. Is no coming back. This stirred up a big problem because now he's going against the people who are helping, assisting him to keep his country from being attacked by foreigners. Now, not only Saddam stops the Illuminati from being in his country, he's also providing a sanctuary for Muslims. He's also providing a land that can be self-sufficient with this resource of natural oil. Now we can do many businesses and trades and provide for our people because we have such riches as this thing called oil. And since Saddam had that resource and we couldn't tap into it through his country no more, we had to find an alter uh, uh, alternative. So you had different Muslim groups from different regions that surrounded Iraq. You had the Kurds, the South, and we gave the Kurds these oil drills. They were engineered to be on a diagonal slant. They can go be placed in one region, but drill deep enough to go under a border without being detected. And let's say about $4 billion later, that's when Saddam found out. And he approached America uh, representatives. Why is your emblem on drills that are drilling under my land? Said, well, we got drills. Up. They're not our. You sure they are drills? They got your signature on it. I don't know how they got there. Why would you check with the people who landed it? The Kurds were people that didn't have a bunch of weapons and a lot of people to do a war. So you send someone with resources and weaponry and everything against a small population to start out calling him a dictator, a tyrant, a murderer. But we were the cause of these things. I'm about to cut this clip because when I start going into current history that goes from Vietnam on, it gets even deeper. And this is going to start even more comments. But I would love any uh, um, body's help into the research I've done. If you haven't found other things that can contribute, let me know. <laughs>